Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from July the 15th to July the 21st and this is for you coming from Aquarius. So let's start with the 15th July Sunday and it's going to be a fabulous Sunday for you. Morning, afternoon, it just goes perfectly well and whatever has been planned, you are very happy and you can take the lead if you want. Everybody who loves the way you plan things. So, whether with your loved ones, whether with the people you work with, whether people you do business with, apply yourself and go out in this morning, afternoon periods, then you'll come back with a lot of benefit. Evening nightfall just as good. And I encourage you to go out in the evening nightfall period because you're going to meet people, perhaps the romance that you want, perhaps people who can help you in job or in business. And you will have plenty of good luck with you waiting for you. So you will be a person who will be extremely lucky on this 15th July. But during the evening nightfall period, there is one planet that can make you stubborn. So don't allow that to happen. That can make you dominating. So don't allow that to happen. And you will be able to benefit. 16th July Monday. Now that's a terrible Monday for you. Morning, afternoon, whatever can go wrong is waiting to go wrong. You get up in the morning, things are said and done which you don't like. And then you drive to work a problem or you drive to business a problem. And when you get back, when you get to your workstation or your business area, you'll find bad news just accumulating and accumulating. So what do you do? Well, I've prepared you. Communicate very carefully. And whatever you say and do, make sure you don't make a mistake out of it. So plenty of research is very important in business or in job areas. Don't allow others to do your work because they are going to mess it up and you are going to be blamed. Drive carefully throughout the whole day. Don't go into the sea and don't divulge your secrets to anybody or any of your personal affairs to anybody because all this can be used against you. Morning, afternoon is going to be very tough just stick to the plan of what your responsibilities are and carry them out and that's good enough. And if you are going to have lunch with somebody, watch out that something said or something done can also spoil the whole thing. Evening nightfall just as bad. And evening, evening nightfall, be careful of the company you keep. If they are the people who drink a lot or do other things which are not good and to do them a lot, stay away from these people because your reputation is going to be at stake throughout the whole day and especially in the evening nightfall period. But there's one planet in the evening nightfall period, the planet of communication, who wants to bring some good news or who wants you to meet with somebody and you the talking with this somebody will get you some good news to help your job, help your business or perhaps even help a love affair. So for that sake, maybe be out and about. But all the time, if you suspect that the company is not good, walk away and drive very carefully and don't drink too much. 17th July is going to be a wonderful Tuesday. And this wonderful Tuesday, many long-term planets are there. So throughout the morning-afternoon period, long-term possibilities are cropping up. The chance of getting good news about an existing job long-term or getting a long-term offer from somebody else regarding a job. Or in your business, the bonding can take place where you'll have long-term togetherness with the business people you're doing with. Or it could be something that you did in the past very well now comes to be rewarded for you on this 17th of July and you get the reward for that. So many good possibilities in the morning-afternoon period. Evening, nightfall, just as good. And evening nightfall, you're going to meet people who can be very helpful for you in the long term. And whoever you are with, you'll find the bonding lovely. Looking for the romance throughout the whole day, you'll meet somebody who can be a long term possibility. And so go ahead and socialize in the evening, but be careful of one planet, the planet of deception and deceit, who will somehow make you fall to flattery. So watch out people who flatter you, who say things which are too good to hear and just be careful of that. Otherwise, it's a wonderful evening and nightfall period for you. 18th July, coming from Aquarius for you, is a Wednesday. 
and I find these planets are too aggressive. So they make you aggressive in speech, aggressive in action, and they make you do things where your exposure to risk is definitely shown too much. So tell yourself, play safe during the whole of these 24 hours of 18 July. Because exposure to risk means that you're going to lose out somewhere. Well, morning, afternoon, you'll be either in business or doing a job. And so tell yourself, take the soft approach because you need support. And when you take the soft approach, everybody wants to help you. When you are very pushy and demanding and if you behave dictatorially, then people don't want to be with you. So with this aggressive planners, you've got to take the soft approach and things go well for you. Same thing evening, nightfall. Be the person who is supportive and appreciative and you will see that the evening and nightfall will go pretty well for you. 19th July for you in Aquarius is going to be a really, really bad day. So let's start with the morning afternoon period. You wake up, things are wrong and you are under pressure and you'll drive and you have to drive carefully. And when you land at your place of work or in business, bad news waits for you. This is all very personal now because these planets want to attack you openly. They want to attack your reputation. They want you to be blamed for something. They want you to say and do the wrong thing so that you get into trouble. So be very careful what you say and what you do. Think many times before you say anything. Be careful of who you talk about personally as well because what you say can easily be released. So it's a bad day where losses can come at you fiercely. So if it's a job, well, the losses can be trouble at your workplace, even getting fired or even just getting so much trouble that it overwhelms you and makes you extremely unhappy. Or if you're in business, things said wrongly or done wrongly and you can be at the losing end of a contract or somebody who's close to you may also find difficulties and an enmity is being built. So many things can go wrong. And then in the evening and nightfall period, be careful what you say and do. Many emotional planets are there. So you may meet somebody you're very interested in the evening nightfall period. But because the whole day has planets which can deceive you or just point you to the wrong direction, I would say take it easy with whatever you want to do and if you meet somebody you like very much, take it easy and wait for another day to really find out. A very difficult day for you. 20th July, Friday, many water planets are there. Basically they take away your attention, they distract you. So they are emotional planets and they make you behave emotionally. If you are emotionally bad on this 20th July, feeling sad about seeing, you will feel very depressed and that will take away your attention to what you should be doing. It may, you may miss deadlines, you may spoil things that you're supposed to do well. And if you are having differences with people, then the emotionalism from them or from you can also be an issue. So repeat three words to yourself, facts, figures, reality. And that will bring you back to tell you it's a working day and just to concentrate on what you have to do. Evening. Yes, the emotional planets will follow you. No harm having emotional planets in the evening nightfall period. But again, tell yourself, don't believe everything said to you. You can be made use of or you can be deceived. And so tell yourself to be a bit cautious. There is one planet there the planet of unexpected goodness in the evening nightfall period. So you might want to be out because this one planet may give you a fantastic meeting with somebody for any reason, whether it's a romance, whether it's a good job enhancement or a business opportunity. So go out in the evening nightfall period and dress well because this planet of unexpectedness wants to favor you comes very late, so it's an evening or nightfall period. 21st of July, not a good day. And it's a day when you will behave in a way where you are very dominating or stubborn. And when you behave like that, nobody wants to be with you. And it's a Saturday. And if you are working at your place of work or if you're doing business, 
Tell yourself, don't dominate, don't be pushy, try to be part of the team, don't be too demanding. And if you're just going to be on holiday, the same thing, don't be too demanding, be part of the team. And whatever other people plan, appreciate it, show your, your negotiability and you will be much better off. These planners basically want you to be stubborn and dominating. So avoid doing that and you'll have a good morning and afternoon session. Evening and nightfall, almost the same thing. Evening and nightfall, yes, you want to plan it. Yes, you want to say the way the things should be done. And yes, you want to be dominating. Well, if you try to do that, these are all negative planets. And they'll make you do that to make sure you spoil your whole day and especially your evening and nightfall. There's one planet in the evening nightfall period, the planet of romance, the planet of good things and good meetings. You can meet somebody to help you in your job or in business or perhaps just be introduced to somebody that you want very much. So for the sake of this one planet, it may be worth your while going out on this Saturday to experiment with it. So you could come back very happy, but definitely don't want to be over enthusiastic. So relax and you'll get something going your way. Well, that's the week for you. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during this 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven or eight years. And this will be based on your date of birth, your time of birth and looking at your palms and even face reading you while I Skype with you. And you'll have every opportunity in this 90 minutes to find out a lot what's going to happen to you in all areas of your life for your next seven or eight years. And I'll give you your lucky lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and your palms and your lucky colors and your lucky directions and your lucky gemstones. A lot of information will be given to you and your lucky days and dates as well. So plenty of information given to you. So look forward to that. Okay. Send me an email. Send me a... Uh, some kind of a notice on Facebook or on Skype and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Until then, thank you and good luck.